That is just bad news bears, baby. Here we got, oh man, oh man, more people. Okay, we're just gonna freeze to death a little bit. Oh, that's what I, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. Heat me up, baby, heat me up. Hello, my friend, how are you doing? Icebreaker, oh my God, what is this? This is not, this is, this is illegal. He, he's got armor, he's got a lot of it. We can only really do any significant damage with armor piercing weapons. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, now is he still no? Okay, we can do more damage. He's way faster and there are toxic spewers everywhere. This, this just got to be significantly more difficult. What in tarnation just happened to this boss battle, brother? Hello everybody and welcome to the brand spanking new last hour update for Laboratory Part 2. The new sectors are finally here and not just that, but the laboratory system for reputation is in game as well with freaking perks we can unlock look at these new guns ultimatum the resonator look at some of this stuff that we can work our way towards not just that some of these weapons now have armor piercing capabilities with them there is so much newness but i just want to go ahead and pop over there and show you all that brand spanking new reputation system because these new sectors this new laboratory update does bring with it the possibility to earn finally reputation and not only should we just have what incarnation is this hello the heavy equipment okay they just got a little pack over there but not just that ladies and gentlemen not only do we have new sectors to check out we also have laboratory hard mode being added to the game as well and we can chop these freaking vines down new parts of the laboratory will now be open to us yes i might actually need to go and get some more freaking hatchets because i don't think i brought enough there is like uh a lot of stuff going on over but we went ahead and we popped open this uh, first little vine way over there let's open up this uh, doorway and oh yeah we are gonna need plenty of seaweed to power up that bioreactor we got a ton of sectors ahead of us what is this over here get the highest access level in sector b2 i think this might be how we activate hard mode right there then what is there over here get the highest access level in sector B2. So yes, lads and lassies, we go to get to sector B2. However, before we do that, I want to go out and chop down another one of these vines here. I brought two hatchets with me again. We'll, later on, I'll go and grab some more because it does appear like there are going to be a multitude of things we can get. What is this over here? Some papers, notes. The biohazard control system functions on every level of the lab. In the event of detecting SC314 in the air, all the outer exits will be blocked. In that case, the employees are advised to stay put and await further instructions. And what is over here in this vending machine? Huh? Some super special food or just normal food? Normal food. Okay, that's a lot of food, though. I'll take that. I might I, I, I might end up becoming hungry a little bit later. Uh, thank you, please, and thank you. Now, is there any ways to get over there? This, like, this is blocked off with freaking rocks. And, like, this way up here is also up at, as y'all can see, blocked off with freaking rocks. Can I, like, blow that up with C4 or something? Yeah, lads, I don't know. I'm really not too sure about that, but I did go ahead and grab one more hatchet, as y'all can see, over there. And I want to see what doorway this little vine does lead to, because there is a door waiting to be opened right over over there. There's also like a secret door over here on the left, actually. What is this all about? And okay. Oh, I thought that thing was not gonna crumble yet. Let's go! We got a shower here! Woo! Hype is the update already. You can already tell which one of you put bars on the vent in the room with J8. Openings wider than the specified diameter had to be covered with a sheet of metal. If that's something I still need to explain to you, then you'll be the ones returning him uh, to the unit. Dude, who is this dangerous person that they are hyping up? I'm already getting kind of scared, but getting kind of hype oh, I, I, I'm sorry. I can't formulate words because I'm as excited as can be, ladies and gentlemen. The new sectors are fine here and if y'all are excited as well smash that like button the update is here and oh my goodness gracious dude is this the submarine area dude i think this is the submarine area the seaweed wait i can build a seaweed farm that's actually super handy i might need to end up doing that it does not look like the cheapest thing though it requires some pretty expensive resources but we might be capable of doing it we got scuba diving genesis suits here what is this little doorway i i'm trying to open it and the door is stuck oh man zero out of ten how could you let the door be stuck and what is this over here? this little like blocked passageway we got some more notes the preparation of the evacuation system is well underway the prototype of a mobile scanner is already being tested at one floor below the rock is not easy to drill though but they chose this place for a reason reliability is paramount so it does look like that is Kind of like the next thing we can expect is more of these doorways opening up what is this over here oh can we mod our weapons here too let's go baby hold up we just got a free freaking weapon modification bench over in laboratory bravo this is kind of handy if we ever find guns as loot over here we can just bring them over here we don't we don't even have to bring them home we can just modify those things literally without leaving we're probably gonna need that because we are gonna be blowing through guns like nobody's business today ladies and gentlemen boys and girls ava what are you doing here 
What? Now that you've entered the depths of the lab, we can get an accurate picture. Collect everything you can find. Research results, employees, personal data, security footage, any information that can help us recreate what happened. And this, again, is just kind of like recreating, again, all of this freaking stuff over here. We got a new backpack at level 40. Oh no, that's a, that's a, that's a storage specifically for medical supplies. Dude, I need more chests in my life. I can't wait to get that. And then the outfit style Sigma. I, that already sounds like it's gonna look freaking sick. And then what is this over here? Oh, this is where I think we can turn in the hard mode items to get laboratory reputation. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what is this over here? B, A, B, A. Can I, hold up. I can open up two sector A's at a time? Oh, I want, these might be like hard mode sector A and sector B. I don't even know. Well, we're definitely gonna be opening up sector B later today. Uh, but first things first, let's go and pop sector A open and see if there's any new loot awaiting us. Big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy, big money, no whammy. Nope, that is pretty much uh, the same loot that we have been getting uh, so far. Although, again, we do have the chance of getting neutralizers and equalizers from here. And hopefully the sector B's, dude, hopefully that is where we can get our hands on some of the new weapons that like, for example, Ava's showing off here, the ultimatum. What is this over here? The protector, the resonator, all of these various new armor piercing types of weapons awaiting us. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. All right. Without further ado though, let's make our way down into floor number two, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're going to have to go through sector A1 and A2. I'll just go ahead and do that super quickly. And then I'll probably meet y'all over at the beginning of sector B's. If I encounter something new during this sector, a1 and sector A2. I'll go ahead and make sure that y'all know. Don't worry about it. But uh, otherwise, like, yeah, we can't get to that until we progress through the prior sectors. So it is going to take a lot of guns for us to do this. And okie dokie, Bioreactor is leveled on up. Let's go and pop open this doorway. I think the perk system also ended up getting a little bit of a revamp and we should be able to get a sneak peek of that right over here. That door is still locked. Okie dokie, what about? Yeah, already looking a little bit new. Let's hit this question mark and we can actually already see for this run, what we will be encountering in each sector that we go through. So in sector A1, enemies' armors will be increased by 15%. So once we hit A2, they get this buff where enemies' attacks restore 10 to 25 of their health points. Enemies will notice you even in stealth mode. And then in sector B2, new types of enemies will appear in the sector. Now, you can also see there's like some commonality. Like it shows you how common and rare certain perks are. And I think that the reputation system might actually lead to us being able to get new perks as well or something like that. Let's just go ahead and try refreshing a little bit, see if we can maybe get our hands on what is last stand over here uh nah my health usually does not go that low no thank you uh the pass is nice but let's see if we can get our hands on any like uncommon or rare perks or something like that i don't i don't know let's continue going through these though because y'all already know which perk i am on the chase for ladies and gentlemen we are looking for that evasive evade perk the agility where enemies attacks and can miss us let's go ahead and confirm that and let's begin our first ever beginning of a laboratory run with the B sectors in place. And of course, if y'all are excited for this, make sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell. There should be another video going up later today as well. We are gonna be having an upload extravaganza with all the newness that this update does bring. We still have hard mode to tackle. We got so many things to do. And don't forget to head on over to twitch.tv slash star where, oh, hello, hello, Screamer. How you doing? Let's just go ahead and kill y'all really quickly here and then whoop, do a barrel out of there. But where we are gonna be going live every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern time, including this Friday. And we are going to be celebrating this new update with checking out the bajillion Jesus out of it on that stream link in the description and in the pinned uh, comment. If you guys don't know what time that, that stream starts in your own local time zone, there's another link in the description, twitch.tv slash star slash schedule that will go and let you guys know what time that it starts in your own local time zone. Also in the description and in the pinned comment because there are tons of time zones across the world. It can definitely get confusing. And hello, Essen Melter. I, he, he looks like he wants to spit on me, dude. I'm actually kind of scared. He's going to do something crazy, isn't he? Oh, get you, son. Oh, that could have been bad. Is he just going to be like a super spitty boy? Does he like spitting more than ever before? Okay, doesn't matter. He's dead. That's sus, though. The Essen Melter has never done his first attack by spitting. That might be some sort of a change that has already come uh, to the laboratory where they made him a little bit more excited uh, to do that. But yeah, looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there at that stream live every Friday, including this Friday. And we are, of course, going to be celebrating with a giveaway as well for the fact that there is this new update going on. So looking forward to seeing y'all folks over there. We're gonna have the face cam on. We're gonna have the live chat rolling. And it's gonna be absolutely fan freaking fantastic. So incredible. The Shambler's arm will go flying off. Actually, that's gonna happen anyway. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of bum rush my way uh, through this. We might need to go grab some more guns after we clear out uh, Sector A2. And then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the time well, oh my god, not the acid melter, dude. That's actually so annoying that he loves to spit so much now. That is so freaking bad, dude. I 
I now do not want to run into acid melters nearly as much. I, I hate this guy. He's actually the worst. Is he going to try to do like a little bit more spinny? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we juked it though, dude. I'm wearing Kevlar armor. You better not be spinning on this stuff, man. I brought the good stuff for the fact that the new update is here. And that's how you're going to treat me? Oh, no. Not this guy again, dude. He slows you down too when he does it. Acid melters are the worst, dude. The Laporte. That is definitely something that they changed. This just got significantly more annoying, dude. I might need to get another set of Kevlar armor for this run. This is... This is poo-poo. Also, we are not going to be doing just as a heads up here because I want to get to these Sector Bs absolutely ASAP. We are not going... Dude, is that another melter? Okay, no, it's not. Good. I was about to freak, man. Uh, we are not going to be doing these side rooms because I want to save as many guns as possible for the newness that awaits us in Sector B. So if y'all are looking for an in-depth Sector Lab A1 and A2 run, go and check out some of our previous videos. We have done a ton of those, but uh, we want to get to Sector B absolutely on the lickety-splickety where we got a new boss and all sorts of newness awaiting us. I know I probably could have cut off the Shambler's arm first, but guess what? I just felt like shooting him. But uh, yeah, where we are going to have a new boss, an entire new sector, new looted. So that's where the newness is, baby. We're just rushing our way to the newness. And with that, bada bing, bada, I, I gotta wait for this freaking poisoning to wear off before I can open up this doorway. But with that, we now are good to go. Sector A1 complete. I gotta fill up the bioreactor a little bit. Probably grab some more medical supplies, too. Hey, okie dokie, went out and filled up that bioreactor again. And, dude, the fact that we now have four sectors to blow through every laboratory run, another thing that has me kind of, like, I, I don't know, like, I, 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 I really think that that freaking seaweed farm or whatever is actually going to be really hype because, like, we are going to need so much freaking seaweed to get things done. And you can use weapon active skills more often. Dude, I think that's new. And that's kind of cool. I kind of like the gunsmith, uh, but I will be taking the pass because I do want to see what past sectors, uh, sector three and four will have for us. And also, I wonder if sector three and four might have better perks available for us as well by hitting the B sectors or something. The debuff we're going to get enemies attacks. They now become vampires to sort of 10 to 25 of their health points. So, woohoo, we got that to look forward to. Ain't that awesome? But all right, the door is open and wish me luck, folks. The good news is I don't think there's many acid melters to worry about here. And like I'm saying, I am now zero out of 10. I am not a fan of the acid melters, dude. They used to be kind of pushovers, kind of annoying when they would hit you with that acid melt attack, but now the fact that that's like, oh my god, that dude was jumping. The fact that that is now actually the first attack that they do is definitely a small but kind of noticeable difference. Hello, Toxic Spewer. I, I already don't like you. No worries. There's nothing you can do that would make you even more unlikable, but uh, he went ahead and died just as he should. Let's continue clearing this puppy out. Ow, take a little bit of damage from that. Oh, no. And just a quick reminder here, folks. Again, we're speed running to get to Sector B, so we are going to avoid as many of the optional rooms as possible to save as many guns as possible for the new trials and tribulations that do await us. Because let's be honest, STEM, that is where the biggest challenge is by far and away uh, going to be. And okie dokie, folks. After clearing out most of that, we do still have one required a boss battle ahead of us here in the form of this douche canoe. Also, I don't know what all of these electrical wires are. Those are definitely new, and they have to be, like, slightly scared. Like, why are they there? I like, are they like, do they do some sort of a superpower? I don't know. They have me questioning life. What is going on? Don't, don't, just, I hate the footstops, man. The footstops are the most annoying attack. My bar! What are you gonna go and punch? Yeah, there you go. Go and punch things, baby. Go and punch your thing. Go and punch your thing. Prime opportunity for us to go ahead and get some bullets up into him. And then, I mean, this boss battle, as we have kind of established prior, is one of the more manageable ones, especially because he literally takes a break. He's like, time out, bro. Time out. I gotta go and punch this thing. And I'm like, no, dude, no time timeouts at all prime opportunity he doesn't even bother attacking us but we bother putting plenty of bullet holes up into him and there we have it sector a1 sector a2 completed ladies and gentlemen boys and girls may i welcome you officially to sector b1 let's go this from what the update notes have said is some sort of a cryogenic mode that we need to worry about. So I think we gotta worry about freezing to death. Enemies will notice us even in stealth mode. Luckily, I'm not the stealthiest guy. Now the question becomes, what freaking, uh, what do I, what do I want here? What kind of perk do we want to get is our kind of third perk? I'm not gonna lie, the executioner perk maybe. When enemies have less than 15% of health, they take 1.5 times more damage from guns. I use a lot of guns. I don't know, man. Let's give it a go. I'm not used to having to pick three perks over here, but there's a first time for everything, including our first time of running through Sector B1. So it's gonna be cold. We gotta worry about the cold. We uh, might wanna go and grab a few guns, dude. I'm not gonna lie. And just because I want to, we're gonna go ahead and pop over here and modify some of the weapons I picked up from the back of my chopper trunk 
over here on the weapon workbench to show the awesomeness that i mean we literally have this available to us right here and like it's it just nice man you know if you pick up any weapons here maybe like from uh for example like if i wanted to bring the shot actually dude it might not be a bad idea to bring the shotgun with us if there's like a big old group of enemies or something uh over from our sector a run over here so i'm just gonna go ahead and bloop, take that i will take that i will put away a few of these things i usually don't end up using the inhalers anyway and uh all right, without further ado, folks, let's go ahead and modify these things. Get that active skill mod on the shotgun, the reason that I love it so. And then we got the mini Uzi too, which honestly, I'm not really planning on using, but who knows, man, I might, I, I might end up using it if there's like a pushover of an enemy or something. Still got to chop down those last bit of vines. No worries, we'll get to that. But ladies and gentlemen, our first ever Sector V1 run is officially upon us. I could not be more excited, dude. And then like, it's crazy, man. We still got Sector B1. We got Sector B2. And then we have Sector A1, A2, B1, and B2 all in hard mode awaiting us, too. And again, from what I hear about hard mode, we need to have armor-piercing weapons. Like, I, we might need... Like, I don't know if we're going to have enough weapons to do that, dude. Like, it's it seems like it might take a lot. But all right, let's go and pop that thing open. And the frozen zone awaits us folks let's make sure that we are well hydrated well everything and all right let's try not to freeze to death in, our, in the freaky update notes they said you got to try and stay near sources of heat oh baby we got our frozen bloater buddies here oh my favorite they double heal oh yeah because they have the healing perk dude that's extra annoying where are their heat sources in here like i'm i'm scared at least if we die all of our stuff spawns back at the beginning so we get like a little freebie but i mean it definitely looks cold man it is looking cold as can be oh no we got two oh, the fetid corpses making an appearance okay well luckily the door did not close behind us oh that door closed though okay well the fetid corpses that is a new enemy we got to worry about well it's not a new enemy but it's the first time we are encountering them in the depths of the laboratory still have not started freezing to death so that's good i guess these rooms aren't as cold as they seem like they might be i do see a chest over there i want to see if there might be like better loot awaiting us so far though it doesn't seem like the enemies here are oh baby our first ever so beautiful so beautiful that bonka b card oh you love to see it i cannot wait to see what is within that little doorway over here oh toxic spewers man dude it's kind of looked like a mini bunker bravo with some of these enemies that we're encountering toxic spewers and fetid corpses oh man it's just giving me those throwback vibes all right let's go and pop over here still haven't started freezing to death again a great fantastic sign 10 out of 10 Woohoo! seven b cards baby let's go all right let's go and make some room for those freaking b cards that is the most important thing. I can come back for the rest of that stuff. I already have plenty of pipes and stuff, but the B cards, this is our first time collecting these puppies. And I want to see what is within the B crate as well. But okie dokie, we got it. Uh, and that also does mean that I'm probably going to go and do my best to literally attack every single enemy possible so we can maximize the amount of cards we get out of this because I, we're opening the sector B crate if it's the last thing that we do today, baby. It is going to happen. That does mean we got another little side room over here we got to blow through. But again, so far, it doesn't look like the enemies have taken a crazy jump in difficulty quite yet. So that's kind of good again i feel like and like we haven't started falling into like any freezing traps so i don't know what the play is how things are gonna go oh the frozen giant dude frozen giant kind of scares me why does that give me uh frenzy giant vibes hold up i'm gonna go ahead and heal i'm gonna try to see how much damage that guy does frozen giant what do you do 61 and he heals a lot of health too so that is kind of pretty much just like a frozen 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 it's a frozen version of the uh, oh there we go we got a fire here yeah i'm gonna stay by that i'm not freezing to death yet so that's good but i i guess it looks like we might start this room does look a bit extra cold compared to its counterparts but uh yeah frozen giants they just look like frenzy giants uh kind of oh parasites come from the vents okay that's terrifying we got to worry about parasites coming out of vents i don't know if i like that man parasites especially if they come in great numbers can do a decent number on you so you gotta be careful about those what do we have up in here we got the scientist oh we got that room looks extra frozen yeah if there's any room that's frozen it's that one right there dude literally by the looks of it if i'm not mistaken which i might be it looks like there's like uh an air conditioner that kind of like progresses as like the room carries on or something i don't really know how to like how to explain it we'll go back over there and show what i'm talking about but it looks like the floor is kind of like there's like we, we gotta watch out you know if we get hit by a blast of that air conditioning i think that's how we can get cold but then if we wait for the ac to turn off on some of those panels right and that should be happening here in a second right like th there you go look at that it turns off in like stages by the looks of it and there's another vent where i think a parasite is gonna crawl out of so we're gonna have to try and bait him out or we could try and see what's behind door number two. Oh, a toxic viewer and a dead end 
All right, so that door is just like, I think there's the potential for like a chest to spawn into there or something. That would make the most sense. I'm not seeing anything in here. Cool decorations though. Very frozen, however, very frozen. Again, we are continuing to freaking hug this little lamp. This lamp is our lifeline, baby. And then, all right, let's prepare. As soon as that air conditioning turns off, again, I'm just gonna try to bait out the enemies that's definitely gonna come out of that vent. There you go, baby, there you go. Oh, nothing came out of the vent. Okay, good to know. Unless that'll change. There's a little side door we can open up. We definitely want to pop that thing open. That'll give us like a bit of a refuge, I think, from the air conditioning that we got to worry about. So we're going to wait for that to turn off. We're going to wait for the next stage to turn off. And we're going to go and pop this puppy open. And hello, juke our way out of there. That thing does do freezing damage. I saw the meat sacks. There are meat sacks in there, dude. The things from freaking Bunker Bravo Floor 4, dude. We're seeing a little bit of everything, man. We're seeing some stuff from, bu er, what we call? from Bunker Alpha Floor 4. We're seeing those meat sacks that stab you. We're also seeing, uh, what is it? The freaking, obviously, like all the Bunker Bravo enemies, the fetid corpse showing up for the first time. And whoop, I'm just going to go into here. Uh, yeah, this just kind of looks like it's a little room to take a breather. That's the vibe that this gives us, as long as if you don't want to be like kind of running through the freezing air conditioning constantly, which I feel like might be a bad idea. You probably do not want to be running through that the whole time. We'll go ahead and bring our friends into here. Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. I see parasites climbing into here. And the acid bolts are doing a number on our damage, dude. That was the worst possible enemy that could have popped up. Our Kevlar armor is actually looking to be in pretty bad shape. We, dude, by the time we get to the end of the sector in the boss, we might need to swap out for a new set of armor because I don't know how this is going to go over. I do not want to be fighting a scary boss for the first time with a shred of armor left. That is just bad news bears, baby. Here we got, oh man, oh man, more people. Okay, we're just going to freeze to death a little bit. Oh, that's what, I, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. Heat me up, baby. Heat me up. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so if you stay in that AC for too long, bad news bears significantly so dude uh, we're still freaking freezing dude our gun is shooting slower than it should we gotta go back to that magical heat stick and toast up a little bit more and we got two tanky juggernauts to take down so that's definitely where having our evade evade perk would have been handy to just kind of like barrel roll our way back through there i just want to come back here because it wasn't as confined of a room there's no meat sacks in here so we could have kind of taken a bit more of a breather our armor is still looking okay i think we can take a little bit more punishment again the good news is is if we die our body will respawn at the beginning of the floor so we at least do have that to look forward to definitely a major upgrade versus what could possibly happen let's wait for that next sector to turn off and just slide into here and there should also so B, I pr I'm probably gonna get stabbed, but there should be another new chest. This is, this is also the second chest we have opened, so I think we might be pretty close to the end of the sector because in the sector A's, you only get two chests per floor unless you get into like one of the secret paths, uh, one of the secret locked rooms. All right, so we're gonna wait for this thing to turn off, and then we're gonna go ahead and make our final skedaddle right over here. Come on, come on, turn off, turn off, turn off, and there you go. And we're at this end room. What is this end room? I don't know. I feel like, you know what, I'm, I, this is, we have nowhere to really backtrack. We're bringing out the big guns, because if there's a lot of enemies, enemies on the other side of this, like, we got nowhere to run to. Okay, good news. We don't need to really run anywhere. However, I am still bringing out the big guns, because I just want to have a little bit of room to play with, yeah? Oh my god, dude, even with my evade perk, these guys are hitting me a little bit too much. Don't like to see that, we'll go ahead and heal on up. Let's get our collection of gold. Let's tap it back in, dude. So we got two more AKs to blow through before we're all on scars. And I'd like to save those for wherever the end boss is. Anyways, there we got the magic floaty stick. This, I think, might be the pass room. That seemed like it'd be... That, that's, this seems like the type of room that you need the pass to open up. So I'll take that. We'll go ahead and take some of those Bunker Bravo cards. Already up to 21. What is this? The higher reputation level, the greater chance you have to receive an armor-piercing weapon. Okay, so doing a hard mode and gaining reputation is also a great way of getting better loot. Also, this little area gives me boss vibes. Are we about to do a freaking boss battle, dude? I'm not ready for that. Uh, okay, no, I, I hear many zombies on the other side. I don't think we're in boss battle turf yet. Right? Yeah, definitely not. Annoying enemies, but no boss battle quite yet. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's go and barrel out of there, Zoidberg style. All right, one Kalashnikov is broken down. He is, uh, oh, I thought the Toxic Spear was about to freaking try to spit. I'm just trying not to get caught in a second round of his spit right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we'll just go ahead and take him down the old fashioned way. I don't even know if I'm freezing yet. There's no like, there's no like health, there's no like freezing meter. You know, we got a health meter. We got a hunger meter. We got a water meter. We don't have a freezing meter. We can't tell exactly how freezing we are. So that's another thing that I'm like slightly kind of trying to keep my eyes peeled upon. Also, dude, our armor is in such bad shape, man. This is just bad news bears. <laughs> this is bad news bears waiting to happen. Hopefully we get like a heads up when like the final boss battle is about to begin. You know, that'd be kind of handy. What is this over here? That looks like the final boss battle. That, I, I don't know what I just saw, dude. That looks scary. That was like a hulk of ice. Hold up. Do you guys see that? What is that thing? 
What is this room over here? Is someone gonna crawl out of that? No, we're good. Okay, where does this go? This goes into another room of some sort. What a tarnation is in this room? As the vulture, yeah, come over here. Is this like a shortcut to get past this floor? Oh, I wonder if it's like sector A1 where you can go past the boss. If so, that'd be nice, because I'd like to get to the end of this floor so I can take a breather and swap into some fresh armor before we fight boss battle, man. Also, hopefully our armor doesn't get completely disintegrated because that might make us freeze to death faster. Again, I'm not trying to freeze to death right now. I just want this Kevlar to last for the last little bit of this sector. Oh, let's go. 24 and 25, officially halfway there towards our first sector B perk, baby. Yeah, I think this might be like sector A, though, where we have to worry about that potentially happening. Now, how does this work, brother? How does this work? Is there like a pattern we can find? Kind of. Okay, so it kind of like looks like it progresses the old fashioned way. We're just gonna go over here for cover. We got a toxic spewer there we gotta worry about. We'll go ahead and uh, bring him back to our town. There you go, there you go, baby. Again, not trying to fight him in the middle of this freaking Iceland. Okay, not like to be confused with the country. This isn't like Iceland, like the country. Okay, we took a little bit of damage there. Uh Oh, we're taking damage from the acid. Not good, not good. Let's start healing up a little bit. And then we gotta make a mad dash for things, and we made it! Is, is this the end, man? Please tell me. Please tell me this is the end. I don't have the- Oh, this is definitely not the end! We gotta definitely double back out of here! Okay, that actually went surprisingly smooth. I definitely could have froze to death in that room, but no. We took care of things. We only got two enemies here to take down now. Oh, let's not get caught in the screams. And they should be two pretty manageable enemies at that. And then there's no way there's any more rooms after this, dude. That has to be the end by now. I literally am like in shock and awe. How could there be more? Billy Mays here, but wait, there's more, hey? And there you go. We'll continue kind of like running up. We might freeze a little there. No, dude, pretty perfect execution. We got another heat lamp. Someone gonna crawl out of there? No, we're still looking good. How close are we to the end, man? Come on. I don't have the armor for this, this torment, this torture. Did we make it? No, we definitely did not make it yet. No, 1000% did not make it yet. Okay, we're gonna double back back through here. I like this little area. I just wanna be able to kind of like run back and forth a little bit. Still worried about our Kevlar armor literally disappearing after one well-placed hit. But luckily that hit is not upon us quite yet. And the parasites have been taken down. And this, ha this has to be the end room, dude. This literally has to be. There's th look at it, look at it. Look at the mini map. Is this the end? We've done it, lads! Sector B1 is mostly conquered. Now I say mostly because there's still something we gotta do. Okie dokie, folks. I really have no idea whatsoever what to expect out of this boss. I'm scared, I'm terrified, but y'all will power me through this. And okay, that's handy that this stuff turned off so we can double back a lot easier, but uh, it's, it is time for the moment of death, doom and destruction, whatever this boss is. He looks fro- like, our, I, I'm worried, like, our bullet's not gonna damage this guy? Like, what is this dude's shtick gonna be? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Hello, my friend! How are you doing? Icebreaker! Oh my god! What is this? This is not- this is- this is illegal! He, he's got armor! He's got a lot of it! Oh my god, what do we have to do? Do we have to, like, bait him into, like, breaking some ice? He's called Icebreaker, dude. That's the only possible idea what intarnation is going on. Hey, little buddy, you wanna, like, break a little bit of ice there? Whoop! I mean, it does not look like he's breaking any ice. I, I, I don't know how this is gonna go, folks. He just kind of like looks like he's like. Do we have to shoot him in the back or something? Like try to get like a well placed hit? No, that doesn't look like it's doing it, man. That does not look like it's doing it. What do I have to do to appease you, man? Do I have to bring you over here? Come on, break some ice, baby. Break some ice, will ya? He's still not breaking ice. I, I'm, I'm like. Do we have to use armor piercing weapons on this guy? Like I brought a few. And it looks like it might be the- it literally, This literally might be the only way we're able to take this guy down, dude. There, there has to be some kind of a trick to this. Like, there's no way this is it. Oh, something broke! Okay, that might be it! That might be it! I gotta freaking battle two of you folks at once! Oh! So that's what happens is we do more damage to this guy. The ice breaks and thaws out new enemies. Bro, what in tarnation? Luckily with that though, we do get a little bit more room here to play with. Dude, I should have brought my Kalashnikov, dude. An AK would be perfect so we could actually stab him. This makes the AK actually much more incredible than ever before. Okie dokie, we got someone thawing out of the ice over there. How you doing there, Mr. Frozen Bloater? Ow, don't hurt me too badly, please and thank you. At least we got more room. We got more maneuvering room, dude. I will take that. And beautiful, back to the equalizer. Which, uh, dude, I don't know if we're gonna have enough equalizer health to take this guy down. Like, there has to be some kind of a special trick. Do I have to, like, bring out a torch or something? What do I do? How do I kill you, man? Okay. I mean, it, I don't know, dude. That is, like, the new icon that they said these enemies would have. That little, like, number one right by him. 
That, that is, that, that's him saying that he has armor. And we can only really do any significant damage with armor-piercing weapons. Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, now is he still no- Okay, we can do more damage! He's way faster and there are toxic spewers everywhere! This, this just got to be significantly more difficult! What incarnation just happened in this boss battle, brother? Literally what just happened? We gotta kill these toxic spewers as soon as possible. They are gonna be the real threat here. I do not want any more spew on the ground that needs to be. He is broken out of the ice. Oh my god. Billy Mays here, but wait, there's more. Okay, we gotta try to time this right a little bit here. I gotta uh, freaking swap into a scar on the lick and he split. We gotta be careful for that special attack, dude. That special attack is heavy hitting. I actually, dude, oh my god. I might not have enough. I might not have enough. I don't know. English is hard. I might not have enough medical supplies for these guys. This is not what I was prepared for! Oh no, brother. Okay, as long as he keeps on doing his little juke attack, we might be kind of okay, man. We just cannot be taking too much damage here. Come on, Icebreaker, die, baby, die! You two talk to Spewer, join the club, baby! Join the line, see you later, Icebreaker Gator! Let's go! Wow! That, uh, dude, the middle of that fight just becoming significantly more fast-paced. I was not ready for that. Also, I don't know if this boss battle's worth it. That is all that he drops, dude. What? I, I don't know if I can recommend that y'all do this boss battle. Because we just blew through a ton of our, one of our only armor-piercing weapons we have. And all that we realistically got out of this that's, like, kind of only available in the laboratory is the catalyst. Like, I, I don't know how to feel about that. Also, I don't even want to imagine how hard this dude is going to be in a hard mode. Hard mode is like, I'm, I am genuinely scared of what hard mode is going to do to us, folks. I... <laughs> this update is crazy. I think it goes without saying. We have our biggest challenge in Last Day on Earth history ahead of us. But we are ready to tackle this challenge head on. Head first, and we will continue tackling it in the next episode of Last Day on Earth. Let me know in that comment section down below what y'all think of a Sector B1 so far, and what y'all, uh, how excited y'all are about Sector B2, what y'all think about the update and everything that's going on, and how scared y'all are of this hard mode, dude. Because I'm telling you, hard mode, I, it's, I, I hope we have enough weapons to do it. Because if all of the enemies are armored like that in hard mode, things are not gonna go well for us, dude. But. Hey, that's a trial and tribulation. We're gonna go, 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 go. We're gonna have to go ahead and get through. But with that, with that said, with that note, make sure you subscribe to that notification bell. Hit Sector B2 video should be coming in a few hours. And uh, that hard mode, baby. Then we got some hard mode. We gotta blow through too. But with that said, with that done, that's gonna go ahead and start bringing that to this episode of Last Day on Earth. Hey, you guys are holding for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.